Political parties are calling on the DA to suspend and take action against one of its new members of parliament. This after a video of Ian Cameron emerged in a black face at an Afri Forum protest in 2012. Mr. Cameron's actions, whether it has been now or many years ago, illustrate somebody who is insensitive towards racism, illustrate somebody who is a racist, but also the fact that he could paint his face black in order to oppose transformation policies means that we are going to be having a public rep at the national legislature who's going to oppose, who's going to oppose and push back on transformation. He says Cameron must be dealt with in the same way as Ronaldo Hose. Hose faces an internal disciplinary hearing following the surfacing of a video in which he uses derogatory and racist language. Some are also questioning how he ended up on the DA's party list in the first place. This indicates, it's very, very concerning, because it indicates that the Democratic Alliance as the second biggest political party at our National Assembly and the governing party here in the Western Cape is still, notwithstanding the fact that we are 30 years into our democracy, notwithstanding the fact that they want to be part of government, the Democratic Alliance is still at a point where they are insensitive towards the feelings and aspirations of the majority of South Africans. The Patriotic Alliance says they are pleased that Hose has been reported to the Equality Court echoing that the DA should also suspend Cameron. I want to say, you know, uh, to be racist is in their DNA because they cannot now come and think that their past will not hunt them down. It's in their DNA to be racist. It is in the DA's DNA to be racist. And that's a fact. The DA said it wasn't available for an on-camera interview. Instead, it sent a three-liner confirming Hosa's suspension. The DA said Cameron had clarified his participation in the 2012 protest against unfair admissions policies at an institute of higher learning. It said no complaint had been made to the Federal Legal Commission. So it seems Cameron is off the hook until somebody lodges one. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.